Hey guys, what's going on? Dracker plays here, and welcome to part one of our VGC 2020 team composition and analysis series. This video will guide you through composing and how to play a rain team, so stick around. So before we begin, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to get future updates. Also, joining me is Prof Toff, a Pokemon professor, so be sure to check out his channel for more VGC content. So let's begin. Hey guys, so welcome once again to our team composition and analysis for VGC 2020. So today I'm joined by one of our Pokemon professors here in our country, Prof Toff. So to get things started, let me tell you a bit of what the Rain Team is all about. So the Rain Team is one of the most popular teams being used in doubles or in VGC format. Some other weather teams are Sand, Ice, and Sun Team, but we'll get to that later in another video. So basically the team revolves around rainy weather to double the speed of water type Pokemon, especially those who have Swift Swim as an ability. So on my part, I'll be discussing movesets, natures, items, and the ideal EV spreads of each core Pokemon for the Rain Team. So the core Pokemon in the Rain Team are as follows. Priority Pokemon to set Rain is Pelipper, since he's the only one for now who has access to Drizzle as an ability. Other Pokemon who had Drizzle were Kyogre and Politoed as a hidden ability. Pelipper's popular movesets are Scald to get a chance to burn the opponent to give a potential minus one in attack. Next is Hurricane, that has the potential to confuse the enemy, Tailwind to increase your party's speed, and of course, Protect. Pelipper's go-to item would be Focus Sash to prevent one-hit KOs. So the nature most VGC players use for Pelipper is Modest. It's to give that special attack boost. The most common EV spread used is 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, and 4 in HP. But there is now a more fan favorite EV spread that's being used. It's more on 252 in HP, 252 in special attack, and 4 points in special defense. This is to give Pelipper that HP bulk and makes it slower so that if you're ever up against another weather team, Pelipper's Drizzle will be the last one to be in effect. This mechanic will be explained further by Professor Toff during his segment. Next up is Ludicolo with the ability Swift Swim. The popular moves to use are Hydro Pump, but some would actually use Muddy Water. Next is Leaf Storm or Energy Ball, and then Ice Beam and Fake Out. Ludicolo's go-to item would be Life Orb. This is to actually have an attack multiplier of 1.3, but at the cost of losing 1 tenth of its max HP after an attack. Ludicolo's popular EV spread is used in 4 points in HP, 252 points in Special Attack, and 252 points in Speed with Modest as a nature. And the last core player in Rain Team is Barrascuda, though some wouldn't actually use him, but instead puts in Toxtricity, Duraludon, or Dragapult. Barrascuda's ability is also Swift Swim. This is to increase its speed, outspeeding a Scarf Dragapult, which makes it more viable in Rain. Movesets for Barrascuda are Protect, Liquidation, which has a chance to decrease the target's defense by one, Close Combat, and Crunch. Barrascuda's go-to item is still Life Orb, which also gives an attack multiplier of 1.3 at the cost of losing 1 tenth of its max HP after an attack. Barrascuda's nature is Adamant to give that attack boost, and a popular EV spread are 4 points in HP, 252 points in attack, and 252 points in speed. So now I'll hand you over to Professor Toff as he explains the mechanics, team analysis, and basic situation play using a rain team. Take it away, Prof Toff. Hi, good morning everyone. So this is Prof Toff discussing about the basics of a rain team, definitely focusing more on the usuals or basic stats, speeds, and definitely common counters and gameplay when you have a rain team. A uh, little bit of examples as well, but we'll be proceeding with the basic Pokemon that we will be using if you have a rain team here in VGC 2020 of Pokemon Sword and Shield. So let's get down right to it. Uh, rain teams are basically Pokemons who have the access to the 
ability Drizzle or anything that sets up rain. And the first Pokemon we want to talk about is Pelipper. Uh, right here you'd see on the screen, uh, Pelipper has the ability called Drizzle. This is the only ability that sets up rain upon switching in. And one of the basic premises if you use a rain team is the one who sets the weather last is the one that gets retained. And we'll be talking about that a little bit later, but let's focus on Pelipper's stats first. So Pelipper is a base 65 Pokemon, and normally, we'd go the slowest or the fastest depending on the Pokemons you want to take out. And Pelipper being more of the special type of Pokemon rather than the physical, and the typing being 4 times weak to electric, you have to really have Focus Sash most of the time and if you want to have a more offensive one you have you risk losing your weather setter early and part of the combinations for a rain team uh, as example like this one uh, let's go with this so most rain teams will definitely have a swift swim so we'll be taking hibiki's rental team as an example so if you want to use this one this is the team id and yeah this is from hibiki vgc so most Pokemon will have Drizzle with Focus Sash, namely Pelipper, because Pelipper is the only Pokemon right now with access to that. It also has access to Tailwind and two basic moves that are usually offensive and typically what you use to be more you of more of more use when you are in the field. Scald bringing the chance for burns, while in rain also gives bonus damage. Hurricane hits 100% with stab, both of these, but the chance to also to confuse the opponent. And protect, of course, to have Pelipper stay longer. And the usual partner right now would be a Ludicolo, which is a swift swimmer, at the same time, good typing of grass and water, which almost completes your basic core for the fire, water, grass, if you want to go that route. But rarely you go that route. So we have here. Pokemons that deal with the weaknesses, especially the dragons, steels, but no fairy here. Um, probably dealing as much damage as they can. And this one prevents redirection. This one, if there's any Pokemon that sets up physical attacks, go the f for the foul play and also intimidate, giving you more defense. And. Dragapult being the fastest Pokemon without any boost to speed at the current meta with just base speed at 140s and yeah this one is an AOE damage substitute to prevent being hit with ground moves and counter to ground moves which is the rain team definitely the fastest not the best team out there but definitely if you want to go an all out offensive rain team the dishing as, as much damage as you can there's hydro pump there probably for dynamax leaf storm as well ice beam for coverage to dragons and fake out definitely if there's no pokemon out there which is not dynamax you could fake it out to prevent it from do you doing anything by flinching so let's get back to the pokemons with rain so rain team definitely would be focusing on two things you have to set it up but who are the other pokemons that can set the weather you'll be choosing the top four pokemon that sets the weather normally that's why you have to consider the speed here of pelipper if pelipper is gonna go 252 speed from 31 ivs it's 117 now this is a modest uh, nature Torkoal on the other hand will definitely be the slowest at base 20 the Pelipper is at 65 and Tyranitar at 61 Vanillox at 79 Normally these Pokemon Torkoal will definitely be the one who's gonna retain the weather If they all switch in but Tyranitar and Pelipper here is the key at base 65 and at base 61 You have to be slower than usual Tyranitars and it depends on what what the Tyranitar is built on right now. So Pelipper should be at least on par with the speed or a little bit lower. This is an Adamant at 252 at zero speed but the 31 it's 113. So definitely if you have max speeds you have to go down a little bit lower. 
if you want to out to become the major weather but you can also switch in but then again there's strategies you can just use dynamax for a water move so that you could set up your swift swim so focusing on swift swim rather right now ludicolo is one of the fastest swift swimmers man time is also a good option because of the high sp def barascuda with out swift swim is already very fast level 50 quite a physical attacker but really low on defenses which can only deal as much damage its sub ability propeller tail is like stalwart seismic toad also has swift swim uh, a less used pokemon in vgc but definitely this one has its perks to be used uh, really rare to see those seeking for honorable mentions quillfish and also we have to consider um, pokemons that take advantage of water damage that probably if you're gonna use surf it's called water absorb because a fourth of the damage becomes healing for these pokemon so lapras probably when gmax lapras comes in it's gonna be much useful uh vaporeon due to its special attack and high special defense quagsire because of its ability water absorb could also be unaware its typing is a bit bad but yeah thunder waves won't really have uh have an effect also slow speed slow speed base 60 mantine at 70 but has swift swim as well as an alternative option jellycent pretty much used right now as a support pokemon due to its typing also high sp def on this one the speed is at 60 as well araquanid more of a trick room pokemon but you don't usually go for water absorb but you go for water bubble it has fire damage on it and water power is boosted two times which is really really neat for a bug water type pokemon it really boosts also dynamax moves pretty much very useful as well so another thing to consider is if you're gonna go for swift swim basics is can your pokemon outspeed so we'll be setting ludicolo as an example here at 80 evs at 31 ivs uh the base speed is 100 at modest right now dragapult is at 213 if it goes 252 so this becomes 200 on rain because swift swim speed is doubled okay so if we want to go out speed a max speed dragapult in rain we have to add a little bit more but dragapult isn't usually on 252 Pokemons like Gengar at 178, you can outspeed those 110 and 120 if you have at least 190. So this is probably pretty much enough. So you can actually have Ludicolo at 80 speed EVs and focus more on the defensive side since Ludicolo is now being killed by Pokemons who have access to max airstream even if it's non-stab moves and brave bird from corby knights definitely lethal for this type of matches so definitely these are the few pokemon i consider to at least outspeed because these have at least some usages uh in the current meta also uh pelipper has to deal with max moves as well uh usually using protect without uh Dynamax being already set up, you are at the risk of dying at 1 HP, especially if it's sand. So usually you need to preserve it unless you already took out the Tyranitar with the fighting type Pokemon. Hence what you see here, there are coverages such as Duraludon that can take out or even the Water Duo that can take out Tyranitar. And this is the fighting type Pokemon I mentioned that could definitely take out sand Pokemon and yeah that's about definitely it hope you learned something today for our rain team discussion and this has again been prof tough for prof tough gaming in fb gaming thank you thank you for that information prof tough so guys we hope you learned a lot from our composition and analysis of the rain team if this guide helped you in any way don't forget to leave a like share the video subscribe to our youtube channel and prof toffs and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get future updates once again this has been Drakkard Place. See you in our next video.